This channel is for educational purposes only. Please do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. Hi, this is Joe Rabel with Invest Like a Pro. And I get a lot of questions on my Rabel Stock Research um, website in terms of like what I'm offering, what kind, you know, what types of services I provide, or at least in the individual package, do I actually put out a portfolio of ideas? And so I wanted to make it clear, I don't actually put out specific recommendations at a specific price and, and then follow it along. I used to take services that did that. And what I find is, is that you don't have ownership of the trade. You're basically just following someone. And I don't think that really improves your skill set. And everything that I've tried to do, starting with this Invest Like a Pro channel, is to give you the ability to do it yourself. All right. Now, where my services adds value is that it's a huge time saver because I send over, I'm going through thousands and thousands of charts to really shrink it down to a list that's very, very workable. Um, I also do work on the... Uh, the sectors and give a pretty good idea of where each sector is situated in terms of their long-term trend and their short-term trend. I'm also going to provide something my subscribers don't know yet, but um, some ideas with reference to how to use the Monday report and the sectors as well. Um, but what I wanted to do today was give you a little bit more insight into what I provide in terms of the ideas and how I go about doing um, giving, I think, uh, helpful tools that give you the ability to put the money to work with confidence, at least over time, you should get better at being your own trader. Now, again, you can use my ideas and I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. So I've got an idea here. Illinois Toolworks is a stock that I, I've highlighted um, in my service. And typically what I'm trying to do is identify stocks that I think have a really good look to the monthly chart, a really good look to the weekly chart, and um, at least the monthly is supporting a trade. And um, there's either a monthly weekly combination set up or there's a weekly daily set up. Com combination. And um, so for anyone who's read my book, I think you'd understand. I'm talking about the pattern where uh, we get some kind of a pullback on the higher time frame, and then we get a correction on the lower time frame that sets up a buy signal. Well, if you look at Illinois Toolworks, it, it really, the, the monthly chart and the MACD and the, what the ADX has done um, supports a trade to the upside. And if you look at this stock relative to the S&P, it's really impressive uh, what this has done. It's pretty much gone sideways uh, for quite some time. It didn't go to a lower low here uh, when the market did. And then it drove through resistance. It got back above its 18-month line and then had a nice orderly pullback, which was a pinch with improving um, ADX. Now, um, there's a couple different ways to do this. If you look at what's going on in the daily chart, you can see that we have a daily trigger into the weekly setup. So we've got a pinch play on the weekly and we have a trigger that took place uh, basically Friday uh, where we had a zero line reversal with uh, low ADX. Now, I, 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 there is somewhat of a caveat to that because as I've told my subscribers, when I have this pattern in place, um, this is a trigger one. I'm waiting for this to break through the trend line. A more aggressive approach is because this went in the zone and came out, you could have considered to close above the 40 as an operative signal without the trend line break. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to look at that, but that's not really the purpose of this. What I wanted to show is I give these different examples in my video on Wednesday to, to get people an idea of where they could do it. So you could do this trade off these two time frames, or you could wait for the hourly to set up now that we've broken out and we've got strength here. You could look for a higher low, a pullback into support, and then a turn back to the upside. And that could be your trigger. And you'd essentially be getting in off the uh, weekly reverse, I'm sorry, the daily uh, zero line reversal and a daily, basically like a daily pinch 
with strong ADX after a low ADX period. So you've got two different options here. And, and what, what I would like to do, and when we're in a better market environment, in other words, we're not in a, a bearish environment, uh, we stabilize, and, and we could be getting into that situation here pretty soon, potentially, if the market shows a little bit more strength here. Um, if we do have that, then you can play the monthly and the weekly setup as is and you know get in this and give it some room. Um, but for now, I think it's a little bit smarter to either play off the daily chart or the hourly chart. But what I what I try and do as I'm going through these ideas is is give the setup potential, like what I'm thinking, what am I seeing? When I do the Wednesday video, I want all the people that are subscribing to me feel like they're in my office looking over my shoulder and I'm giving them one to one um uh, just ideas and saying, hey, this is how I would handle this. We got a pullback on this time frame. We've got a pinch play. We've got improving ADX. I actually like the volume action there as well. Look at how soft this pullback was. I mean, that's really orderly for an ABC pullback. And even red couldn't even stay above green for any really serious um, period of time. So we've got the, the, the trigger itself is a little tricky on this because we don't have an ABC with a lower high. If that was the case, it would be really easy. But because this kind of made like a double top, you could either use that or you could be a little bit more aggressive taking the close above the 40. But the other option is if you don't want to do either one of those right now is to wait for this to give some kind of a signal that it's really um, forming a buy signal and then uh, you can get in off the daily and then you could actually monitor it or uh, trail it off the daily chart. Even though you're using this as your timing tool, you don't have to trade after that. You don't have to manage the trade on it after that. I've got, I go into a lot of that during, in the, uh, in the uh, course. So um, I like to look at it this way. So the, the number of stocks passing and what sectors I'm focused on right now, I think the, IT, the ITW, which is inside the industrial space, really attractive area right now. A lot of stocks looking like this where they had a really strong. So think about it this way. Impulse to the upside, strong move to the upside. You can see it in MACD. You can see the green DI breaking out. Right. And then we get an ABC corrective pattern that is very modest in terms of the sellers. That's a great combination to be on the lookout for. It's essentially my favorite pattern. If I'm looking for what if if I'm um, I like to use golf analogies. I mean, if I'm out, if I'm out on the golf course and I'm having really hard time hitting the fairway, I want to pick a club that I can get and make sure that I can put it in play so I can start feeling a little bit more confident about what I'm doing. And if I'm trading and I'm struggling a little bit, I have to have a go-to pattern. This would probably be my go-to. Strong move to the upside with a modest pullback into support and then we get up ABC on the lower time frame with an opposing trend trigger. Love this setup. It, it doesn't have to be this trigger, but I love this setup with an ABC decline. And we do want to have uh, not much strength in the sellers when I'm looking for this. So there's different versions of the trigger. As I said, there's four different types of triggers that really can set up. But in, in, in this particular case, I do want to make sure that the sellers are not very strong while it's pulling back. If the sellers are strong and causing the red DI is causing the ADX to go up, then I'm probably not all that interested. If you go through and look at a lot of the uh, industrials, we don't really have that taking place. Most of them are consolidating in a really orderly fashion. Now, the other thing that I go through and mention is how much risk. I like to use ATR. I go into that in the service. Um, as a as a tool to tell you how much room to give each trade. And then I think the other thing that's very important is understanding that the overall market really helps in determining how many of these type of trades I want to do right now. Do I want to have a whole portfolio of these right now or do I want to have uh, you know a little bit less, be a little bit more selective? Um, so it, and again, that's where my Friday video along with the other, things that I do for the service come into play. Not to mention, again, what I said about the uh, individual sectors, and I think that can be really useful as a supporting uh, tool for ideas. So uh, hopefully this gives you, for those who don't have the service, gives you a little bit better idea of the types of things I'm doing. I'll have a whole list of stocks and I go through each one and give a, an idea of where I'd be playing and what time frame I'd be playing and what I'd be looking for. But you're, you have to pull the trigger. And believe me, once you 
you start doing it yourself, you, it, the, your confidence is going to go through the roof. I'm just kind of leading you in the right direction. That's the goal is to get it, narrow your focus, get you to look at maybe a handful of stocks that can be um, have a pretty high probability of working in your favor given the right set of circumstances in the market. And if that's the case, then you put these trades on and you start trailing them yourself. Uh, believe me, I, I know from years of doing this way, way back when I started tr triggering my own trades and taking my own profits and seeing it happen on my own log sheet, um, I, I found it to be uh, very empowering. All right. So uh, anyway, uh, go ahead and post any questions or comments and uh, we'll see you next time.